Hey folks, I got this old rusty plane for two dollars and it's a good old Stanley one when they're still using cast parts instead of stamped sheet metal. So let's see if we can bring this back to life. I'm gonna give it a coat of WD-40 to loosen up everything because I don't like to force parts that are seized with rust. Since this is an older plane and I have no idea what kind of paint this is, I'm going to regard it all like it's lead paint. One hour later. Right, let's see how this is doing. Oh, I love when things work like they're supposed to. Look at this. This is awesome. This came out great. So I'm going, before continuing, I'm going to make sure this one is perfectly flat here and I'm going to get rid of all this casting flashing and burrs that it has, make it more like a finish part. Now that's much better. Now this one, it's in pretty good shape. I'm going to make sure it's all flat and square once I have all the rust removed. And for that, I'm going to turn to another thing that I hope works as intended. This thing hasn't let me down in the past. Let's see if it works again. The next day. Came to find out that there was a tiny leak on this thing. But it should be alright. Now these have been sitting here overnight. Let's see how they're doing. Oh, all the rust is gone. Look at that. Let's see what we have here. Oh yeah. This is now rust free. Ain't it nice when things work like they're supposed to? That's interesting. You can clearly see the part of the steel. This is a high carbon steel and the part that is heat treated has got darker and the part that is not heat treated well that, that's softer is lighter in color. That's neat. And it's good to know that this is actually heat treated. There, now that they're all clean I kind of like this dark gray color, but I have to paint it because otherwise this is going to turn into a pile of rust again and within minutes it is in fact already rusting. So let's get some paint going. This thing is riveted here. I'm going to see if I can actually mask it and get it painted without messing with this rivet. There, now let's paint. Now that's nice and painted, let's check how flat it is and correct as needed. Not too bad, I suppose. You do not have to have the plane all set up and under tension to flatten the sole. That is a myth that people keep perpetuating. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video showing that you don't need to do that. Now to sharpen the blade, 
I kind of like this gray color. So I think I'm going to leave it gray like this. I'm just going to check how flat the bottom is and go from there with the sharpening. That is interesting and very nice. It's basically perfectly flat. That is nice. So we just need to sharpen the bevel. I love the sharpening thing, but it does heat up the blade real quick, so you have to keep cooling it down. I really like this combination of this golden piece with the rest of the plane, so I think I'm going to pimp it a little more. I don't want to over clean this, so I'm just going to give it a quick rub with some steel wool. Now let's see what it can do. Look at it, makes little rolls out of it. Oh, this is so satisfying. <laughs> let's try something more challenging, let's try some maple. This is a nice figured maple. Let's see what it does. Oh, not bad. Not bad for two dollars. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.